Hi, my name is Mark Dietz. I'm a Hawker 4000 customer service engineer with Textron Aviation. Today we're going to be discussing the MCDUs on the Hawker 4000 and familiarizing ourselves with their various functions. The MCDUs control a number of different functions on the aircraft, from circuit breaker settings to PFD options to data link operations and so on. I know that many of you believe the MCDUs are strictly for avionics use. However, on the 4000, that's definitely not the case. Understanding their role and what selections are available to you will allow you to better maintain and troubleshoot the aircraft. To start, we will look at the main menu on the MCDUs, specifically test functions, display setup, and thrust management features available. Let's begin by pressing the menu button and then press the line select key labeled display setup. From this screen, you can adjust a number of the options found on the display units in the cockpit. Such options include the temperature presented in Celsius or Fahrenheit, altitude depicted in meters or feet, radio options shown on the PFD, flight director command bar options, and a number of other configurations. I'd like to touch on three options that we commonly get questions about. First, the AFCS selection. Selecting one or two will set the priority for the auto flight system. Whichever side is selected will then be used as the primary control. Contrary to popular belief, pressing the AP button on the guidance control panel does not swap autopilot control. It only transfers flight director information. The same goes for the auto throttle selections. Selecting one or two places that system in control. Next is the AOA function. If you don't see the AOA depicted on your PFD, selecting on or auto will allow the AOA indicator to be displayed. The auto function will hide the AOA display until specific flight conditions are met. Next, let's talk about the test functions available. Pressing the test line select key from the menu page will bring up a number of system tests that can be performed. The ones most commonly discussed are the TLD ICE, STAL, ADS, and TCAS. Pressing the button next to each one of these selections will send the designated system into a self-test to evaluate operational readiness. If any of the systems are suspected to be failing, these tests will usually provide you with a fault. Next up is the thrust management feature. Return to the menu page, select the thrust management line select key. Once the management page is available, select record event. This feature is commonly used during engine performance runs, requested by the engine manufacturer at each power setting, as well as by the crew in flight when an engine anomaly has been noted. Pressing the record event button expands the EDU's recording parameters to allow for increased data capture. Next, I'd like to talk a little about the data link function, specifically the test feature. Pressing the DLK button on the MCDU will bring you to the data link main menu page. From there, you'd press the status line select key. Here you can view the status of the data link's communication health, depicted as active when showing GRD VHF and inactive when showing no comm. When on the status page, selecting test will initiate a comm test to the subscription provider and give you a result of passed or failed and let you know if the data link is operational. Finally, the MCDU displays and controls circuit breaker functions. There are two types of circuit breakers represented in the MCDU, virtual and typical. The virtual breakers can be opened and closed in the MCDU. The typical breaker status is displayed, but no control function is available. Typical breaker locations are listed next to their respective titles. The circuit breaker menu can be accessed by pressing the CB button on the MCDU and then selecting elect menu and then by selecting either CB by system or CB by bus. Traditionally, selecting CB by system is the most effective way to locate the CB in question. Two pages of system CBs are available. Once you've chosen a system, you'll be able to page through the list of breakers. So we've discussed MCDU functions with respect to the main menu features, the data link status, and circuit breaker control procedures. Again, understanding the operations of the MCDU will allow you to better maintain and troubleshoot the aircraft. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, if you have any questions or concerns about what we've covered here today, you can always call us at 1-800-HAWKER2 or email us at hawker-4000-support at txtav.com.